Hello, and welcome to the BPOP PCEX software explanation video series. This video will cover autocopy, serial numbering, and barcode serial numbering functions of the BPOP PCEX software. So as you can see, we're going to start using one of the templates. This is a palette label for a delicious fish fillet. So first, you're going to start off with your basic autocopy function by selecting all of the data in your display. Then you're going to group this data and come up here to the 1, 2 number icon. After you click on this icon, a drop-down menu with serial numbering and autocopy will appear. You're going to click on autocopy. After you do that, the autocopy settings window comes up, and here you can select the number of copies. Let's do four. You can do, and then also select the spacing in between the labels. These numbers on, at the bottom here are the various ranges for each of these fields. So feel free to adjust those to fit your needs. After you click OK, these labels will automatically be placed on the sheet, like so. Next, we're going to do your basic serial numbering label set. OK, here we go. Just like before, you're going to select all of your data like so group it together and come up here to the one two number function after you click on this icon here you're gonna see serial numbering you click on serial numbering and you're gonna have this menu appear in this menu there's three different fields the fields for selectable data for serialization and then the image. Now this image is going to be a replica of the data you selected here on the layout. When you go through the selectable data you'll notice that depending on what you have highlighted in the selectable data field the data will be highlighted here in the image field using a blinking black rectangle. As you can see, you can select letters as well as numbers for serialization. This time what we're going to do is serialize the palette number. So we we'll select that and move it over to the data for serialization field. After you move it over to this field, you're going to click on details and there's only one digit so you click OK. Now we're going to click Arrange, and this menu for serial number settings will pop up. Here you're going to set your total sequence length. So we're going to make four, a count of four serialized palette labels. And then we're going to also make two copies per label. Again, you can adjust the vertical spacing and horizontal spacing and click OK. As you do that, your label data is going to appear in the layout. As you can see, this label data comes out over this white part of the tape roll. Now, you might be thinking, oh no, I can't print this data over here in the green part but you can. It automatically prints out so if you come and click print you'll see that the sheet automatically adjusts to print the data that you have entered into your design window. Okay let's move on to the barcode serialization function.
Just like before with the other labels, you're going to select all your data and group it together. Then come up here to the 1, 2 number icon and click Serial Numbering. Once you've selected Serial Numbering, you're going to come down here and click on this barcode data. You know it's the barcode data if in your image field it's being highlighted by a black blinking rectangle. So we're moving this over to the data for serialization and at the same time we're also going to move over this palette number. So the palette number will be serialized along with the barcode. Now when you're dealing with a barcode you want to be careful about which digits to serialize. So you have to come here and click on details and then select the digits that you wish to serialize, like so. I'm going to serialize the last five digits. And after making that selection, we're going to click Arrange. And like before, we're going to make a total set of four serialized palette labels and two copies per label. If we click OK, you'll see that these labels are automatically put onto your design window. The palette number, of course, you can see clearly that it's been serialized. The barcode, let me zoom in a little bit. You can see that these digits here, the last digit, is being serialized. Now, once this gets to 10 or 0, this number here, the 4, will become a 5, and the next one will become a 0. Oh, well, that's about it for barcode labeling and serialization in the functions of the BPOP PC EX software. So thank you for using our BPOP system, and please take a look at our other videos. Have a good day.